Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's review the news from the Worldwide Developers Conference where Steve Jobs announced the iPhone 4. This episode of MacMost Now is brought to you by Gazelle.com. Gazelle is the easiest, fastest way for you to sell or recycle your gadgets. Every item gets an offer and you get paid to be environmentally responsible. Use promo code MacMost for a 5% bonus. So the big announcement today is of course the iPhone 4. Here we've got a completely new design for the iPhone. It features a metal band that goes all the way around the sides and a glass front and back. Now the metal band is cool because it's not only part of the casing but it's also the antenna. One side has things like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and the other is the antenna for the wireless carriers. Hopefully with the antenna being on the outside of the iPhone we'll get better reception. So let's start by looking at the screen. The old iPhone was 480 by 320. This one's exactly four times the size at 960 by 640. So right off the bat, apps are gonna have sharper text and show photos much better. And as app developers update their apps, you'll be able to get much better graphics in them. Now, as expected, the new iPhone is going to use the A4 processor from Apple. So you're going to get not only better performance, but longer battery life. And speaking of the battery, it's going to be a bigger battery in this one with longer life. So you're going to get several more hours of talk time and up to 300 hours of standby time. So a couple new gizmos in the iPhone. One is the gyroscope. This will give angular velocity and allow app developers to create more interesting games. Another is a second microphone that will be used for noise cancellation. It will listen outside of your voice, determine what noise there is in the environment and cancel it out. Just like noise cancelling headphones and some noise cancelling mics on other phones. Perhaps the biggest news comes from the cameras in the iPhone. That's right, cameras, as in two of them. The main camera is going to be a 5 megapixel camera capable of shooting 720p high resolution video. In addition to that, you're going to have a new app that you can buy for 5 bucks. It's going to be a mobile version of iMovie. So not only can you shoot high definition video, but you can edit it as well. You can add things like titles, transition, Ken Burns effect, and you can export your video and upload it to various services. Now the front facing camera as you can imagine is used for video chatting and Apple is introducing a new feature called FaceTime which will allow you to basically start a video chat with anybody you're talking on the phone to. You both have to have iPhone 4s but you don't have to do anything else except press a button and you both have to be on Wi-Fi as it doesn't work yet over the wireless networks. Apple is also going to be using standards when sending this FaceTime video and they hope that other companies will adopt the standards as well, which means that we may be able to use our iPhone 4s to do video chats with people on completely different phones or perhaps even on computers or other devices. Now some unexpected news is that of a new operating system. We already knew they were working on it and developers had it. They're going to call this iOS. So instead of referring to it as the iPhone or iPhone slash iPod Touch OS, it's iOS and this is version 4 and it has the expected new features of multitasking, also being able to arrange apps into folders and things like having in mail threaded messages and a unified inbox. Okay, so when and how much? Well, the new phone comes out on June 24th in five countries, including the United States. And it'll cost $199 for the 16 gig version and $299 for the 32 gig version. And that's of course, assuming you've got an AT&T contract and they'll subsidize the price. You can pre-order about a week or so beforehand on the 15th. A lot of other countries are going to get it in the months to follow with a total of 88 countries by September. In addition, Apple is going to keep the iPhone 3GS around a little longer as a $99 model. Now if you have an older iPhone, you can also get the iOS 4. It will work with the iPhone 3GS and in limited ways with the iPhone 3G and iPod Touch. Besides all the iPhone stuff, Apple also announced that the iBooks app will soon be updated. Not only will you get it on the iPad, but you can get it on the iPhone and iPod Touch. And anything you can buy on one will then be available across all your devices. In addition to that, it will sync things like bookmarks and where you left off in a book. So you can pick up from reading from one device to the other. In addition, you will also be able to view PDF files in iBooks. So that's a look at today's announcements. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.